One of the simplest ways to upcycle and transform your furniture is by using paint and these two projects today will look completely different by using two different types of paint. This look is going to be slightly distressed and this look is going to be much more contemporary. Two different paint types, easy just if they're lying about the house or your local DIY store for a tiny tester pot and you can have your own bespoke tailor-made piece of furniture. This is one of the easiest looks to achieve. It's distressing and it makes the chair look really old and worn. So I'm using chalk paint, two coats, which will take around 30 minutes to dry. And the most important thing is to make sure that the paint covers every part of the chair. If you do have time to give it a light sand beforehand, even better, because it allows the paint to stick in different ways. It's also important if the chair has any detailing or scrolling effects on it to make sure that the paint gets into all those little nooks and crannies. Try not to worry if things start to look a little bit messy before they get better because that's the nature of chalk paint. When it's dry, take some sandpaper, the coarser the better, and rub down all the areas that would naturally have a worn aspect to it. So the top of chairs, the backs, where you would naturally see some rubbing and aging. When you're sanding the whole piece of furniture, take the sandpaper itself, tear it in half, take a tiny piece because the more you work into all those little grooves and turned elements of the wood itself, that's what gives you that really natural, distressed French country look. Once it's all dry, just use a little bit of furniture wax, again, in all the areas that would have natural wear. And across the back here, where we have the extra detail. And once that's dry, buff it up, and you've got something that's gonna make your house look even better. This next piece has a much more modern look, and where the distressed chair had to look very worn, this has to look pristine. So we've already checked that the drawers are all running perfectly, and this is all about preparation. So first and foremost, we've given every surface a little sand back, and we're using a primer paint to make sure that those surfaces are perfect for decoration. Because I'm going for a very modern look, we're using two different colors here. We're using a gray, and a zesty yellow. So what we've done with the side of the drawers is already prime them in white because that's where the yellow is going to show. The gray will be the uniform color, but the detail will be in the beautiful little knob pull handles, which again will be in this lovely zesty yellow. Using contrast colors when you're working on a modern piece really does cheat the style of the piece of furniture. This was mock Regency before, but with this zesty yellow and cool grey, it's been given a brand new look. But when you're doing any large surface and you want it to look really, really pristine and smooth, don't use a paintbrush, use a paint roller. No brush strokes. Upcycling can be so much fun and it will help you transform any piece of furniture that reproduction Regency bedside cabinet has now been transformed into this stunning grey and lemon chest of drawers that would look good in any room. And then it's just all about where you put it and how to adorn it. 